Uh, dear my students, I am greeting you. We will probably give our lectures on the internet and this end of the coronavirus pandemic. So today is, an, uh, is our uh, online lecture with you and you can stay at home and listen to your lectures from here. You can also write your questions. I will read your questions and try to answer your questions. Lecture with you, Doctor of Chemical Sciences, Associate Professor Ilham Azarbaliyev, at Department of Biophysical and Bioorganic Chemistry of Azerbaijan Medical University. Today we will talk about complex compounds and the modern uh, theories explaining their formation, internal complex compounds, leak and pathology. First of all, we need to know the basic concepts and classification of the complex compounds. Biogenic metals and many uh, macro elements in the um, organisms occur in the form of different complex compounds. As displaying the biochemical functions, the role of the complex compounds is so great that the famous biochemist Professor Wood suggests an idea that biochemistry is coordination chemistry of the living systems. Indeed, the complex compounds can be considered as a form of existing of the macro and uh, biogenic elements so far as all these elements influence the vital activity of the organisms being in the composition of the ligand compounds. From the first days of the discovery of the complex compounds, uh, they provoked a considerable surprise of the chemists. So, about 200 years ago, it was discovered that an addition of a colorless ammonia solution to a green nickel chloride one causes a change of the color into violet color. In this case, is example nickel chloride with six molecule ammonium. Such compounds of the combination, combinations consist of two and more independently existing substances. For an explanation of this phenomenon, Swiss chemist Werner in 1893 developed a coordination theory, the fundamentals of which are the following. As I said, Werner Sorts suggested in 1893 that metal ions have primary and secondary valence. Primary valence is equal uh, the metal's oxidation number. Uh, secondary valence is the number of atoms directly bonded to metal coordination number. In this example, oxidation number 4 cobalt. Uh, plus 3 and coordination number uh, for these uh, complex compounds uh, is equal to 6. Speaking about the main valence, a valence of an element in the binary compounds was taken into account. These binary compounds were called the com compounds of the highest order, the valence of the compounds of the highest order, forming as a result of the interaction of the binary compounds among themselves, was called secondary and denoted in the formulate by means of dashed line. The central metal and uh, the ligands directly bonded to it make up the coordination sphere of the complex in cobalt chloride with six molecule ammonia or six of the ligand are the ammonia and the three uh, chloride ions are outside on the coordination li ligand coordination sphere. In cobalt chloride with five molecule uh, ammonia. The five ammonia groups and one chlorine are bonded to the cobalt and the other two chloride ions are outside the sphere, like this. And Werner proposed putting all molecules and ions within the sphere in brackets and those three ions that dissociate from the complex ion when dissolved in water outside brackets. This approach correctly predicts uh, there would be two forms of cobalt chloride with four ammonia molecule. The formula would be written like this and one of the two forms has a four uh, has a two chlorines next to each other the other has the chlorines opposite each other 
Now about coordination. What's the coordination? When an orbital uh, from a ligand with um, long pairs and it overlaps with an empty orbital from a metal, sometimes called coordinate covalent bond, so ligands must have ion pairs of electrons. Uh, the molecules or ions coordinating to the metal are the ligands. It's called complexes. They are usual anions or polar molecules and they must uh, have uh, ion pairs uh, to interact with metal, like this. In this example, you see here. Now about metal ligand bond. This bond is formed between a Lewis acid and a Lewis base. If the ligands Lewis bases have non-bonding electrons, and the metal uh, is Lewis acid, it has empty orbital. In this example of uh, argentium aluminium complex. And the metal's coordination ligands and geometry can greatly alter its properties, such as color or ease of oxidation. Now about oxidation numbers. Now on the charge on a uh, complex ion and the charge on each ligand uh, one uh, can determine the oxidation number for the metal. For example, uh, for copper in this example, for copper oxidation number plus 2 and for ammonia 0, uh, from this uh, number we can calculate oxidation number for complex ion and when we calculate this uh, ex expression and we form a plus two oxidation number or now the oxidation number on the metal and the charge on the ligands one can calculate the charge on the complex ion like this for example, in this example, oxidation number for chromium is equal to plus 3, for water uh, oxidation number 0, and for chlorine minus 1, and when we calculate, and plus 1 formed. The atoms that supply the ion pairs of electrons for the metal ligands bond is the donor atom. The number of these atoms is the coordination number. Uh, some metals, uh, such as chromium and cobalt, consistently have the same coordination number, 6 in the case of this, and these two metals. The most commonly encountered numbers are 4 and 6. There are two common geometries for metals with a coordination number of 4 tetrahedral and square planar. Uh, by far the most encountered geometry when the coordination number is 6 is octahedral. Now about polydegrade ligands. Some ligands have two or more donor atoms and these are called polydentate ligands or chelating agents. Some ligands um, and in uh, ethylene diamine uh, represented here as a N, each nitrogen is a donor atom and therefore N is bidentate. Ethylene diamine tetraacetate, mercifully abbreviated ADTA, has six donor atoms and wraps uh, around the central atom like an octopus. Uh, bind uh, to metal ions, removing them from solution. Phosphates uh, are used to tie up uh, calcium and magnesium in hard water to prevent them from interfering with detergents. And porphyrins are complexes containing a form um, of the porphyrin molecule shown at right. Are, and imported biomolecules like ham and chlorophyll are porphyrins. You see here formula of chlorophyll. Porphyrins like chlorophyll are tetradentate ligands. Now about nomenclature of coordination compounds. 
The basic protocol in coordination nomenclature is to name the ligands attached to the metal as prefixes before the metal name. And some common ligands and their names are listed above, like this, for example, for um, uh, nit uh, nitrogen azide and vinylicon azide and uh, name complex azidum. Then uh, bromide, ligand name bromide, bromide uh, name complex bromo, etc. As always, the name of the cation appears first, the anion is named last. Uh, Ligands are listed alphabetically before the metal prefix denoting the number of particular ligands are ignored when alphabetizing. Then, in this example, you see pentaamine chlorocobalt chloride. And here is cation name pentaamine chlorocobalt. And in this example, uh, five ligands has, uh, and uh, one ligand chlorine. Then cobalt uh, oxidation state is equal to plus 3 and anion name chloride. The names of anionic ligands and in all the endings all the names of neutral ligands are not changed. Uh, in this example uh, also cation name pentaamine uh, chlorocobalt and here are five ammonia ligands, one chloral ligand, and cobalt oxidation state plus three, and anion name chloride. The name's uh, prefix is, uh, tells the number of a type of ligand in the complex if the stain of the ligand itself has such a prefix, alternatives like B, trees, etc., are used. If the complex is an anion, its ending is changed to 8. And the oxidation number of the metal is listed as a Roman numeral uh, in parentheses uh, immediately after the name of the metal. And this example tetra chlorooxomolybdate. And here, cation name sodium and anion name tetra chlorooxomolybdate. And here is four chlorine ligands and oxide also ligand and oxidation number four molybdenum is equal to plus four. Now about isomers. Isomers have the same molecular formula but their atoms are arranged either in a different order structural isomer or spatial arrangement. It's called zero uh, isomers, and also uh, structural isomers divided by two in part coordinations, where isomers and linkage isomers. Since zero isomers also divided by two parts, geometric isomers and optical isomers. Now about structural isomers. If a ligand like the NO2 group at the bottom of the complex and can bind to the metal with one or another atom as a donor atom linkage isomer are formed with these geometric isomers two chlorines and two ammonia groups are bonded to the platinum metal but are clearly different cis isomers have a like group on the same side uh, and um, Trans isomers have like groups on opposite sides of each atom the same, bonding the same, arrangement in space uh, different. In the molecule of a complex compound, one of the atoms, usually positively charged, occupies a central place and is called a complex agent or a central atom. The oppositely charged ions fluorine, chlorine, iodine, uh, or the neutral molecules ammonia, water, which are called ligands, are bond, uh, coordinated directly with the central atom. A complexing agent and ligands uh, form an internal sphere. Outside the internal sphere of the complex compound, uh, there is an external sphere which contains positively charged 
ions in the case of the negatively charged internal sphere of the complex compound or negatively charged ions in the case of the positively charged internal sphere. In the case of the uncharged internal sphere, the external sphere is absent. For instance, you see here, we are ammonia, chlorine, OH, ligands, and coordination number in the first, second, and third examples are 4, 6, and 4 correspondingly. You see here, uh, structure of uh, complex compounds, for example, chloride of chlorotriamine platinum, here is chlorine, external sphere, suited. Then, internal sphere, platinum, uh, ammonia, three, and uh, uh, chlorine, and central atom is platinum, and etc. other formula. A total number of sigma bonds uh, formed by a complexing agent uh, with the ligands is called a coordination number. A coordination number or coordination balance depends on both nature of the complexing agent and nature of the ligands. A coordination number uh, can vary in the range of uh, 1 up to 12. Sometimes it reaches to 20. However, 95% uh, of all known complexes are the complex compounds with equal to uh, 4 and 6. Thus, complex compounds are chemical compounds being complex particles which consist of a central atom with surrounding it molecules and ions. Some ligands are connected with the central atom by several bonds. In this case, the ligand has a coordination capacity. Uh, there are B, tri, tetra, penta, polydentate ligands. The complex compounds formed by polydentate ligands make a group of the chelate, Greek kill, Krabs glow, cyclic complex compounds. According to nature of the ligands, if a ligand is water, when the complex is called an aqua complex, like this. And if a ligand is ammonia, then the name of the complex uh, will be amine. If a ligand is an anion of the different acid oxalate, uh, carbonate, cyanide, alginide, then the name will be acidic complexes like this. And according uh, to the sign of the complex charge, uh, for example, cation complex and anion complex, neutral complex, Uh, at the known about nature of the coordination bond, at the present time, for a theoretical explanation of nature of the coordination bond, there are uh, three acknowledged uh, methods. First method uh, of the valence bonds, and the second theory of a crystalline field. Uh, third um, method of the molecular orbitals, on the basis of last two methods, uh, a more comprehensive theory. Zero of the ligands field was developed. Method of the valence um, bonds or methods of the electron pairs permitting to study the chemical bonds in the complex compounds was developed by American chemist Pauling. According uh, to the given method, an ion complexing agent has vacant orbitals, the number of which determines the coordination number and the ligands give electron pairs. The formed bond between a complexing agent and the ligand is a donor acceptor one. The orbitals of a central atom participating in the formation of the bond undergo hybridization. A type of hybridization determines the geometric structure of the complex compounds and it depends on the number and nature of the ligands. Some types of hybridization, uh, the bonds are presented in this uh, table. You see here, SP, type of hybridization when SP, examples of the complex you see, argentum cyanide, and structure of the complex, linear, and then SP2, strigonal, uh, and example uh, H3O, 
uh, when a type, a type of aerobization uh, is P3, it's uh, like the zinc uh, ammonia 4, and the uh, type uh, structure of complex uh, tetra. Hydral. Then, uh, like this, this P2 uh, is quadratic, D2 is P3 octahedral, and uh, is P3 D2 uh, octahedral. And you see in your example to this uh, type. Um, as seen from these two last examples, upon the formation of the octahedral complexes, hybridization can be realized either with a participation of uh, inner d orbitals d2 sp3 hybridization complex cobalt uh, ammonia 6 or with the participation of outer d orbitals sp3 d2 hybridization complex uh, cobalt. Um, fluorine 6. So, upon D2 sp3 hybridization, overlapping of the electron clothes is more and more of the ligands with the central atom is uh, stronger than upon sp3 D2 hybridization. A formation procedure of the complex compounds explaining the reactivity of these compounds. A shortcoming of the method of the valence bonds, in some cases the number of the orbitals needed uh, for a placement of the electrons is less than a number of forming bonds and also the present method doesn't explain to the uh, optical properties of the complex compounds. And both is uh, P and uh, SPD uh, orbitals together undergo hybridization. Uh, let's consider several examples. A complex uh, uh, copper uh, ammonia can be presented as an example of SP hybridization. The given complex is formed in the following way and uh, like this and the SP hybrid orbital of the bonds you see here. Then DSP2 uh, Hybridization example this example uh, nickel C9. This uh, complex is formed like this you see here and uh, nickel chloride nickel C9 uh, DSP2 hybrid orbit, uh, orbitals of the bonds. Then you see here D2 SP3 hybridization and example a formation of the complex occurs in the following way like this. Then, uh, in this case, the first three D electrons are paired uh, and uh, representing uh, three D cells, uh, and then D2 uh, uh, P3 hybridization occurs like this. And the uh, SP3 D2 hybridization, this uh, complex is formed like this. And uh, sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals of the bonds see in this example. Theory of crystalline felt um, uh, created by Langmore in 19, 1919 and uh, later developed by Bese, Van Leck, uh, interprets complexes of the metals a system with an electrostatic interaction between a central atom and ligand. This theory achieves the great, uh, greatest uh, progress in a description of the complexes of the uh, transition metals in which the outer shell electrons are located on d orbitals and the uh, theory crystalline field theory uh, considers an uh, influence of the Lacan's fields on the energy levels of the electrons. For the um, free atoms or ions, the orbitals in vacuum are de de degenerated and uh, uh, five atoms of d orbitals have the same energy at the superposition of electric field uh, condition by a presence of the ligands, energy of these levels are differentiated, uh, the uh, sublevel are um, uh, split on two sublevels. D and uh, D X and uh, D Y. Uh, and occupation of these sublevels sub can also perform the in different ways.
Uh, since here are two opposite, uh, two opposite factors play an important role a principle of the least energy and the tendency of the electrons to occupy by the different orbitals, ensuring a parallelism uh, of the spins. It's called Hund's rule. This fact depends on two parameters, relative energy of splitting by crystalline field and average energy of the electrons pairing. On the basis of spectral data, it's possible to calculate delta E and P. Upon forming of different complexes of the transition metals, ions equation appears to pair the electrons on the lower levels. Uh, it's a uh, disadvantage for the electrons due to energy consumption or to displace an electron on the vacant upper level. It depends on nature of the electron. If the lithons has a strong field and splitting is uh, considerable, delta H more than P, then the electrons are arranged uh, first on the lower uh, levels, forming the pairs, then after filling lower uh, levels, they are located on the upper ones. As a result, uh, a low spin complex is formed and a principle of the least energy dominates. If the lithon has a weak field, and splitting is small, uh, p more than delta e, uh, then the electrons are arranged on the upper levels. In this case, a uh, high speed complex is formed and Hund's rule dominates. Uh, let's consider an electronic uh, configuration of uh, 4D and 6D electrons accordingly in the weak and strong fields. Weak fields, you see, spin is equal to 2, and D, you see here, strong field, total spin is equal to 1, and weak field, total spin is equal to here, 2, strong field, total spin is equal to 0. Uh, on splitting the value which the lacons make as a result of uh, approaching to the metal ions, they are situated in a uh, spectrochemical lacons role. You see here, iodine, um, less than bromine, uh, and etc. You see from picture. Thus, it's possible to define and order the electrons' occupation in the different orbitals and finally to determine an electronic structure of the complex. Uh, strong field, we see this ferrum cyanide, and the weak field, ferrum hydroxide. Uh, a shortcoming of this theory is the uh, proximity of this theory in consequence of uh, uh, accounting only the atom orbitals without considering an electronic structure of the ligands. Moreover, it cannot explain a possibility of existing of the double bonds between a metal and ligand. Theory of the molecular orbitals methods. Uh, this theory uh, uh, developed by Hund, uh, Leonard Jones, and Mulligan considers the electronic systems upon interaction of an ion complexing agent and the ligands, as well as the formation of the total molecular uh, orbitals upon calculation of MO. Uh, a method of the linear combination of the atomic orbitals, uh, briefly LCAO is used. As a sense of the MO, uh, a molecular orbital method, consists uh, in the following. Upon approaching of uh, two hydrogen atoms with two electrons uh, from the wave functions of these two electrons, P and uh, P1 and P2, two new orbitals called, uh, called molecular orbitals are formed. Uh, one of them, P A is equal to uh, P1 
plus P2, which is lower by energy, is called bonding. And another orbital, Fb, is equal to Fe1 minus Fe2, which is higher energy, is called. So, you see, uh, in the case of octahedral complexes, uh, transition metal, uh, it's uh, needed to uh, construct a system from uh, 15 mO uh, molecular orbital obtained by combination of nine, of nine atomic orbitals of a metal and six atomic orbitals of ligand. Six orbitals um, uh, dz2 dx2 uh, dy2 sp and uh, px py pz participate in the formation of the sigma bond since their branches lie along the lines connecting the atoms of the ligand and the metal um, three orbitals uh, D X Y D Y Z D X Z are non-bonding, uh, as their electronic uh, clouds are uh, the directed between the ligands, and energy of the orbitals is uh, particularly not changed. And a chemical bond is formed in that case if both electrons are situated in molecular orbital with a lower energy. A chemical bond is not formed in the case when a number uh, of the electrons in molecular orbital with higher energy is more um, hydrogen uh, and the higher energy is more or equal to a number of the electrons in molecular orbital with lower energy. And this fact explains the existence of the molecule hydrogen, the molecular ion helium and the absence of the molecule helium. And they see from these pictures. Thus, when using the methods of the molecular orbitals, uh, all bonding and uh, anti-bonding orbitals become occupied uh, and on this basis the structure of the complexes can be considered. Now about biological role of the complexes. The num numerous uh, metal proteins uh, and uh, albumin uh, part of which is uh, firmly bonded with the ions uh, of the metals are constructed according to the chelate intracomplex compounds type. The chelates are uh, one of the uh, varieties of the cyclic com complex compounds. These compounds differ in the uh, that uh, one of the atoms of the polydentate ligand is bound with a central atom by an anomic, uh, ionic or uh, covalent bond. Another one is bound by means of a donor-acceptor interaction. For instance, a complex of glycine and copper is described as following. A special position in chemistry is occupied by complexonates. These compounds are related to the chelates formed by some organic substances which are called the complexons. The complexons are applied in medicine for a determination of the uh, microelements in the different ligands and tissues of the human organism. For binding and neutralizing ions which are present in the drugs as a contamination for dissolving the stones in the kidneys and um, gallbladder in pharmacy for a determination of the cations in the drugs. Many biological active substances such as uh, hemoglobin, chlorophyll, vitamin B12 and many metal enzymes are complex compounds. Hemoglobin performs the transfer of oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and inversely uh, carries carbon dioxide. A protein albumin part is called globin and a non-protein part more uh, precisely a prosthetic group is hem. Hem contains iron uh, which is uh, surrounded by uh, pearl rings and forming it Porphyrin system, substituted porphyrins are called porphyrins.
A thin structure of the complex in octahedral and uh, iron is uh, in uh, D2 sp3 hybridization state molecular mass of hemoglobin is uh, six, uh, 68,000 uh, uh, for co complete uh, Disappearing of the structure of hemoglobin, it took 20 years uh, and uh, two moments uh, were very interesting. Uh, even after uh, binding uh, with oxygen ferrum doesn't change its valence state, after binding oxygen the structure of hemoglobin itself changed. Uh, I before absorption hemoglobin has a T form um, uh, then it has a R form is relaxed. <clears throat> Upon attaching oxygen hemoglobin is a shrunk uh, but when uh, realizing oxygen it's uh, uh, broadened again in uh, literature such particularity of hemoglobin is called uh, allosteristy many enzymes have such proteins due to hemoglobin solubility of oxygen in uh, blood is uh, approximately 13 times more than uh, in ordinary water um, Myoglobin consists of one uh, ferrum atom and uh, one hem molecule uh, in hemoglobin four hem molecules in contrast to hemoglobin which transfers oxygen and carbon dioxide myoglobin only reserves oxygen because its uh, molecules are smaller a color of a uh, Myoglobin uh, depends on iron content in it. Therefore, uh, metal is red not for the reasons that it's um, impregnated by blood. Another example, uh, there is much uh, ferrum in the uh, soil of the Mars and therefore this planet has a red color. The respiration enzymes of the nature are uh, created on the basis of four elements for iron copper zinc and vanadium and their complexes however in the course of evolution copper zinc and vanadium uh, remained on a lower degree of uh, development and nature trusted iron in delivery of oxygen to organism uh, in every erythrocyte or red blood practical there are approximately 280 million molecules of hemoglobin and you see here hemoglobin structure and globin structure then myoglobin protein structure mm -hmm. Nevertheless, there is an exception. So, a respiratory pigment, hemocyanin, containing copper instead of iron, is dissolved in blood of uh, calamaries and snails and spiders. Upon transfer of oxygen blood, more exactly, hemolymph uh, of these jointed Footed animals is uh, colored blue. Ability of hemocyanin to oxygen transfers is five times lower than that of hemoglobin. One of the essential macro elements of the uh, highest organisms is cobalt. Uh, cobalt plus uh, two oxidation number plus three has a D2 sp3 hybridization. Uh, it enters into the composition of vitamin B12, cyanocobalamine, cobalamine, yes. It's one of the most complex uh, vitamins and uh, is synthesized by uh, microorganisms. An important role of vitamin B12 is uh, to participate in the synthesis of hemoglobin. The story of its discovery is very interesting. A terrible uh, disease uh, malignant anemia is uh, pernicious anemia in uh, 1855 uh, was described by English uh, physician uh, Edison, Edison a sharp decrease uh, of uh, uh, excretion of the uh, gastric juice of uh, patients and uh, an appearance of a 
quite unusual process of the erythrocytes uh, formation were observed and only in uh, 20th years of uh, 20th century American scientists established that the vitamins of B group uh, favorably uh, influence uh, formation of the erythrocytes. Uh, it was found that a raw liver was uh, rich of B group vitamins and only it was uh, delaying uh, uh, development of the lethal uh, disease. In the following years, it was determined that a special substance gastromucoprotein being a, a carrier of one of the vitamins of B group responsible for the erythrocytes production is present in the gastric juice of human. In 1948 in England and USA Simultaneously, red crystals of an active substance was excreted uh, from a beef liver and in 1850 uh, in Oxford its uh, structure was deciphered. This substance uh, now is called B12. Uh, this is only uh, vitamin into the composition of which a metal uh, enters. Cobalt plus three. Its molecular mass is uh, 1,357. Uh, uh, These cyan groups are in its molecule. Therefore, it's uh, called cyanocobalamin. Uh, however, the derivatives uh, homologs of B12 do not um, influence the organism and for this reason are called pseudo-vitamins. A complete structure uh, of B12 has been established by uh, Drawford, Crawford uh, Hopkins and England Nobel Prize in 1964. The third woman after Mary and uh, Iron Curry, uh, it was uh, synthesized by Woodward uh, in uh, Nobel Prize in 1965. Uh, to this effect, it took uh, 12 years and a uh, synthesis of B12 uh, is considered as an outstanding achievement in history of the uh, organic uh, synthesis. A human uh, receives B12 by uh, uh, ingested food. In the pharmaceutical industry, it's obtained by biosynthesis. B12 is applied um, a tre a treatment of uh, asthma, a disease of liver and nervous system as well. Chlorophyll pigment, uh, by means uh, of which the highest plants and green uh, algae perform a process of um, photosynthesis, has a unique meaning for life of the plants. In this substance, the ion of magnesium, uh, which is not a transition metal, is a central atom. It having a big charge and a small radius possesses a high polarizing effect. A coordination bond is formed at the expense of the vacant outer D orbitals. Chlorophyll has an octahedral structure and uh, characterized by sp3d2 hybridization. And uh, in principle, magnesium may be substituted by um, magnesium, manganese, and then uh, photosynthesis uh, runs uh, even faster. However, uh, here with, uh, there is a more probability of a deflection uh, from uh, a normal reaction way. Maybe therefore nature chose magnesium in order that the process, process follows slowly but uh, uh, reliably without any uh, deflections. Many enzymes are constructed on a type of the intercomplex compounds. A prosthetic group of hemoglobin is a structural constituent uh, of the molecules of uh, peroxidase um, and catalase and carboxypeptidase. Um, 
xanthin oxidase, nitrogen, nitrogenase, and atmospheric nitrogen by bacteria uh, for synthesis of the proteins, nucleic acids, and so on. Uh, uh, aldehyde uh, oxidase uh, molybden it oxidizes alcohols and aldehydes otherwise aldehydes uh, poison the organism therefore it poisoning by uh, methyl uh, um, alcohol it's uh, recommended to drink uh, ethanol alcohol since the same enzyme oxidizes them as a result the uh, competitive oxidation of ethanol the concentration of uh, CH2O and uh, uh, formic acid are uh, decrease. Uh, adios, uh, aldehyde oxidase, um, tyrosinase, uh, yars, uh, copper oxidizes amino acid, uh, tyrosine in the black pigment melanin. Now about legal pathology. A rare and uh, serious disease, lipus erythematosus, uh, is known in medicine more than uh, 100 years. They involve segments of skin in the shape of a butterfly similar to the burn uh, appear on the nose and uh, cheeks. Its reason in, uh, is connected uh, with uh, ligand pathology. The proteins, nucleic acids, vitamins and others uh, in the organism can play a role uh, of the ligands. A uh, shortage of the micro elements often causes the uh, pathologies. For example, shortage of copper causes uh, Wilson's uh, disease or the uh, abnormalities of the neural system. A mechanism of the ligand pathology is connected not with uh, decrease of the concentration of the metals uh, or, for instance, ferro and copper at anemia but with excess uh, of the corresponding ligand. In the uh, robust organism, uh, uh, level uh, of the metals and the ligands is uh, supported on such level that um, metal ligand uh, homeostasis is uh, preserved. Any uh, disturbance of this equilibrium results in the uh, development of the chelate or ligand pathology. A reason of the appearance of uh, lupus erythematosus, uh, parodontosis, and um, peritoneal uh, commissurus is a ligand pathology, and a uh, sense of which consists uh, in the fact that under the influence of the different metabolites, uh, the cell uh, membranes are destroyed and the lysosomal enzymes which destroy the tissues and the cells are released. The remains of these uh, substratums are the ligands easily forming the complexes with copper. I they remove copper from uh, lysyl oxidase enzyme. Without um, sufficient amount of copper as a result of its uh, blockade, Lysyl oxidase uh, produces a defective collagen that causes the above mentioned disease. You see, here are most common symptoms of systemic lupus erythematosus and uh, low grade level photosensitivity, then cervical loss of appetite and face uh, butterfly rash, muscle acute joints, arthritis, kidneys, inflammation, fingers and toes, poor circulation, and etc. And here you see Wilson's disease, you see here, from structure and parodontals. Now we finish our uh, lecture. Goodbye.